Hi folks, Rich here, Noise Noise Maker. <laughs> I like guitars, can't play them, but I like them. I have lots of them. 192 guitars, and I think, I want to say a quarter or a third have been tellies. And I've, I think they're my favourite guitar, really. So, why are you here watching this video? A, you've got nothing better to do, you've had a row with the wife or the husband. Mm, or perhaps you're interested in someone in a Puma top. Oh no, I haven't got it on, too hot. Or you're interested in tellies. So, let's suppose you've got 350 to 400 pounds, or less if it's second hand, you fancy a telly of some sort. You don't really know what you want. Mm. Here are two options in that price bracket for you. One from Vintage, one from Squire. They're not the same, but they look the same. Look how close the body shapes are. I think the Vintage have done a good job of making that clone, haven't they? Very, very similar. So in the Squire Classic vibe, you get exactly that. You get a classic look, a tinted neck, so it's glossy. You, it's pretty weighty, it's 3.9 kilos, this one, bit of a beast. 21 narrow tall frets, traditional sounding pickups, usual three-way switch scenario. You've got a C-shaped neck, which is comfortable and not too chunky. And then your other option, you think, maybe go a bit wild. Look at the vintage, which is 3.5 kilos. It's got a five-way switch, higher output pickups. This one is a Strati pickup. This neck profile, this neck radius is seven and a quarter inches traditional vintage style the classic vibe is nine and a half more like most of them you get these these days uh, both got thick bodies on them notable difference the tuners on the vintage are significantly better than on the classic vibe does it really matter maybe maybe not but you think to yourself i fancy telly of some sort so i'm just going to play a few badly played things with my bad playing on just three of the positions so that they are akin in that from that point of view, the neck, the middle, and the bridge. And we'll just see whether you think modern or vintage is the way to go. This is just filmed through an iPhone. It's not, there's no post-production. It's not plugged in, there's none of that. Hold on. No, it's on the clean channel on my Catalyst amplifier. And I'm gonna have the tone up on both of these. Just tune these. I cannot get a guitar to stay in tune in this house. <laughs> it's just, I mean, this guitar is new, the strings are. Well, it's got a G on there, so the intonation's off. Now, one thing to, I'll quickly say on them the QC on both guitars is similar. This chokes out a bit up, up here. I've got, dare I say, probably some high, high frets on here. I don't know if the neck's put in perfectly or not, but. QC seems similar. One thing I would say though is that is unusual in my experience with vintage. Vintage guitars usually have poor QC. Sounds, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? Really does sound bad. I've got the EQ all at 12 o'clock, I don't normally do that. I like my mids down. I like my mids down, my bass up, my treble up a little bit. Anyone else like that? So in the room here, all, all of those pickup sound positions sound bright, bitey, loud, shouty. <laughs> um, yeah. And in contrast, so immediately when you pick this up, depending on what you like, you've got a stickier kind of neck on here because it's glossy. Just tune this up as well. <laughs> Intonation's all over the shop. Both of these. Guitars, no. Nope. Have not been set up. It's reading as a G. 
So on the neck. <laughs> Telly pick up and you might like that. traditional sounding guitars and that's what this is whereas the vintage is a well it's funny isn't it the Jerry Donoghue one it's his signature guitar it's a vintage looking thing but it certainly doesn't sound like it This one has got lots of different times, it's actually got a five way switch on this. demo. <laughs> what a shocker. What a shocker. You're not learning anything from that. What I'll, what I'll just tell you off the off the bat between these two here straight away is a strange perception isn't there that we have about what we think quality is. The Squire just feels like a nicer guitar. Is it because the neck on this one feels like a bullet from the Squire? Totally unfinished. Could be that. Could it be that the finish on this which is matte, it's got a, ever so slight strange greenish sort of a hue and I don't like it and the neck is as pallid as boiled potato from the 80s. Could it be that? I don't know. The Squire just feels more refined, even though new price for new price these are similar. In fact, I think the vintage is more. So let me know what you think, if you've got either of these or both of these. If I were, if I were buying one of these, which obviously I did have bought both, I would have the Squire 
and for the sake of some of the other tones that you can get out of this, like the humbuck kind of sound, maybe get another telly and have get a four-way switch um, scenario on it so you've got a beefier sound. And if you don't like a glossy neck, then maybe get a cheaper Squire or go for Harley Benton or a Jet or even a Fender Mexican second hand for a sort of three, seven, five, maybe 400 quid. But yeah, this one, not so much. Let me know what you think.